dire que bon, on peut faire deux lavages par exemple. Oui, c'est possible. Oui. I don't understand this guy. He tells us 70 Main Street is where the hotel that we're supposed to be staying at. But this is Main Street. This is all there is. A bunch of abandoned buildings, abandoned motels, a house with a fucking fire. <laughs> And no fire trucks. So I don't know where this asshole is. I've been driving all night. I have not slept. We have to wrestle in five or six hours. And this guy is nowhere to be found. What do you make of it, Jeff? I make a lot of this. What a, what a dump. A lot of this. What a, it's a nice dump. place. Why, Devin, why are we in it? This town. <laughs> Why are we here? Yes. This is the best town there is for me in Montreal. Really? I no. disagree with that. Well, that's because you didn't live around here too much. Yeah, it looks like a dump to me, kind of. Everything, everything is there except money. Money hey, and normal people hey, that haven't lost their minds. Well, you can see it there, yeah, they're done, they're done burning the house uh, down there. You're, you're starting to burn the town down, aren't you? That's right, the thing we don't want, we burn them. Really? Yeah. Was that fire set on purpose? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, I am serious. Why don't you just burn the rest of it down? Well, I can't because I live the last time on the road there. On that road there, the last house down there in the mine, there was steel grass behind it. So you can't burn it. You're not taking pictures of him, are you? I was, yeah. Oh, he's breaking, gonna break the camera. Oh. oh. That's not very nice. <laughs> well, I gotta say something. <laughs> one thing you got, you got a nice vehicle. Only one thing wrong with it. It's a huge gas. It's gas white. Gas. In the wintertime, it's 10 foot of snow here, so you can't see. Well, we'll be long gone by then. <laughs> What a funny character that guy was. This is funny. Oh man. Alright, so these are this is the hotel. Yeah, this is where the brawl was last night. I think they cleaned all the blood off the floor. What happened? Um, wedding party. Apparently uh, somebody in the groom's party got drunk and got in a fight with someone in the bride's side and uh, it just erupted from there into a huge brawl. I guess uh, two cops came and they ejected 50 people. Is there even room for 50 people? Yeah. Yeah, in the little uh, dining area there. Oh, they weren't sleeping. No. This must be a really big drug area. camera shoot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got a sound guy too, but he's tired. This is my webmaster, Jeff Dougherty. Hey, how are you? Good to meet you. Came all the way from PEI. Yeah. Seven hours drive. Yeah. Seven hours. Uh, you guys probably got that beat as long as you guys. But. So you're coming to watch me beat the crap out of them. That's what I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> if your wrestling gear gets your time. Well, even if it doesn't, we make no show, no dough. Right? Show must go on. It's going to be an interesting We don't need match. gear. We have talent. No, it's going to be a good clash. I was telling them on the way up that uh, we'll probably have the best match of the night by far. It's what, it's what my little brother said. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> very good.
do something. Don't interfere, interfere in the interviews. Now, Lawler, of course, taught him to stand there and be quiet. Lawler taught him a lot about interviews. But not interfere. Jimmy would never say a word. You know, he might go, yeah, that's right, Augie, that's right, tell him. That's all he would say. Because you could speak. Because I didn't talk. Just and, reinforcing what you're saying. And Jimmy never, Jimmy, he always had, Jimmy always had guys that could talk anyway. He never had to talk for them. See, with Bobby, he knew it was totally different now. Bobby would turn around and make people go, weasel, we oh, that Rick Rude wanted to kill Bobby Heenan. <laughs> I mean, Rick's out there working and trying to get heat and beat on, you know, doing the stuff, and here's Bobby looking. Getting more heat. Yeah, and they're going, weasel, weasel. And he's putting his, you know, doing. Drawing it's, heat it's, away from It's just from a way to the ring. steal heat. Yeah. yeah. And Bobby knew what he was doing. But Bobby <laughs> did. <Yeah. laughs> Bobby... It, Bobby always did the talking for him, but then Rick, see, like Rick Rude, now Rick was a good talker, he didn't have to talk for him. Yeah. But you get guys like Nikolai and the Sheik, you gotta have Freddie Blassie to do the talking. And Freddie was great, because Freddie did a good interview and talked it up for them, and Freddie was, he wouldn't go out and try to steal the heat. Freddie just go out standing ringside and just flash. But Freddie was always flashy and everything. Moon salt, moon salt, moon salt. That would be fucking cool, I start out, then I cry my heart out. Lonely is a man without love. <laughs> so great. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let her get wet. <laughs> the beautiful, beautiful woman that was that I am so lucky, I am the same age as her grandfather. And uh, she was not lucky enough to put up with all my uh, in, insane um, rantings and uh, singing. And what did you say about your own singing? You're a beautiful singer? I am the, the worst singer in the world. No, what did you say actually? The you, goddamn world. <laughs> she's the worst singer in the goddamn world. No. <laughs> Wonderful Thank girl. Thank you.